All right, let's take a look at this 1973 International Lodestar. I bought this truck from Monty Shelton here in Portland, Oregon, and I actually bought it on Bring a Trailer. You can go back and look at the history of that. Um, but I really want to show you how special and unique and what kind of history uh, is involved in this truck. Now, uh, let's get some of the details out of the way first. Brand, I put brand spanking new tires all the way around this truck. Uh, I spent about $3,000 on wheels, or excuse me, just the tires, um, and uh, uh, I, I just needed to replace the tires. They were old, but there's only about 200 miles on these tires. They're brand new. Uh, come on up here. Look. Look at how cool this is. It's got Marshall headlights in it. I mean, wow. Is that cool or what? Come on around here. Uh, it's got an onboard generator so that you can actually run a welder. Thing's huge. Look at this thing. Um, Lightborn. I'll put the model and all that stuff in there. Um, so you can also fill your uh, tanks. There's a compressor here to fill your tanks. So you got air onboard, onboard air. Uh, let's open up the back here. And you can see here, actually, let's go ahead and lower the gate and and let's take a look back here. Come on. You can actually transport your cars in this truck and that's what Monty did with it. The way the ramps work is you slide these ramps out here and they slide into these pockets and those are the ramps so you can drive the car on and here I'll show you. We'll bring it down. Okay. And let's open this up. <laughs> All right, here we are inside the truck. And if you look at the floor, you'll notice that the floor is very unique because Monty actually put down the special coating so that he could slide his Porsche 917 motor around in here. That's right, I said 917. This truck is really famous because he used to haul around a 917 in it with a spare 917 motor. And then he started to haul around his 930 Porsche in this thing and everybody at Portland International Raceway and other racetracks around the U.S. know exactly this big blue truck. Let's look inside here and see what we've got. We've got a storage area above the cab with a net. You can also open up this padding here so you can communicate with the driver or whoever's sitting in the front while you're back here. You've got a winch. You can winch things up. There's all kinds of spare parts and things in here. Um, Oh, a spare cable for the uh, controller for the gate. Um, let's see. Oh, some lamps so you can uh, have a drop light working on your race car at night. <laughs> More lamps, some steel wool. Anyway, these are nice storage cabinets. Put your stuff in there. And compressed air. So this is, uh, this is from your compressor down below and you've got your compressed air in here as well. You got a lot of lighting. Um, let's go check out the cab. All right, it also has this awesome awning, which you're gonna want. Uh, it works great, I love it. And uh, we've used it a lot at the racetrack. It's in good shape. If you don't want the logos, which you probably don't, uh, they do peel off easily. They really do come off easy. They're, they haven't been on there forever. Uh, so those do peel, I peeled a little bit off right here and it was coming off real simple. So they do come off easily. Batteries in the hydraulic pump for operating the uh, lift gate. There's more batteries under the bonnet as well. That battery is just for the hydraulic uh, pump. Here we have a massive oversized fuel tank and a second tank here. 
Let's take a peek inside the cab here. Ah, look at these seats. All right, these seats are really expensive suspension seats. Um, that really makes a difference, especially with these armrests. I mean, look at this. <laughs> it makes, it really does help. These armrests are cool and fully adjustable and you can get quite comfortable in here. Um, it is a four slash five speed. So what I mean by that is we've got a granny gear and four more gears. When I say granny gear, it's granny gear. We've got an air fuel monitor here so we can see what we're running. We put in an uh, auto meter mechanical temperature gauge. This truck has 140,964 miles on it. Um, it uh, it's really clean in here. It's nice, it's comfortable. Look at this. This freaked me out. So I, I didn't know this was in the glove box until I realized that I was gonna sell it. And <laughs> look at this. This blew my mind. All right, first of all, here's a gas receipt from 1980. Uh, it was 1980 something. They put 24 gallons of gas in it at $1.29 for $31.25. Wow, the good old days. Check this out. So there's all kinds of really cool stuff in here from Monty uh, during his racing days. Um, they used this truck to go to all the different racetracks. Look at this, uh, 55 mile an hour California Highway Patrol speed limit, <laughs> $55 bill. Uh, and look at this note that Monty got directly from the DMV. It says, uh, according to June and PUC registration department with Salem, no PUC needed in Oregon for hauling a race car for personal use. Intention of racing is for personal enjoyment. Boy, is it ever. All right, let's see what kind of racing we're talking about here. This blew my mind. Right here we have, this is the starting lineup for the Budweiser Trans Am Road America Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin, August 5th, 1984. Uh, Bob Lobenberg, uh, Greg Pickett, Richard Spenard, uh, Tom Gloy, and look at this, Willie T. Ribs out of San Jose, California, and Paul Newman out of Westport, Connecticut. Let's see, Willie was driving a Roush uh, Protofab Motorcraft Capri, and Paul Newman was driving the Bob Sharp Racing Nissan 300ZX Turbo. Now, Monty used to tell me some stories about Paul Newman. They were good friends. And uh, uh, he would always get a picture of Paul Newman, uh, who didn't take pictures, by the way. Uh, and it was really hard to get an autograph from him as uh, well, as I understand. Uh, but here we have, who was Monty Shelton's driving partner? Dave Watson in the Racing Firebird. And look at this, Monty Shelton, Portland, Oregon, Porsche Audi, Porsche 930. I can only imagine. Can you believe this? That is so cool. This, this truck is famous uh, because everybody knew there was either a Porsche 930 or a Porsche 917 in the back of this thing. And that's why it's in Gulf Livery, if you haven't noticed. Um, anyway, let's go pop the engine compartment. Let's take a look at the motor. This thing runs like a top. The brakes are good. The tires are good. The engine is excellent. We tuned it up. We replaced the carburetor. We put uh, new plugs, uh, cap rotor, um, wires, fuel pump, uh, battery cutoff, fresh battery. Uh, it's really ready to go. Um, as a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and fire it up and we'll hear it run. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cold start it. This thing is ice cold. I have not started it today. Ice cold, okay? Nothing. So here we go. I'm gonna pull the choke, crank her over, watch how she fires up. We got a ton of oil pressure. We're at 65 PSI oil pressure. Uh, we're about 1100 RPM. I'm holding my foot on the throttle. Our air fuel is right on the money, 
Zero water temp. Look at this, ice cold. We'll bring it up to temp and we'll show you how she runs. Okay, what we have here, clean Oregon title in my name, 1973 International Van. Ha! Well, that ought to save you some insurance money. It's not classified as a commercial vehicle. Excellent. That's good news. I put special interest license plates on it. If you're an Oregon buyer, that's a big deal. We got all Monty's receipts. Super cool. All right, well, she's still ice cold and she's idling great. We're sitting at about, well, it looks like 600 RPM. Pretty nice, eh? It doesn't smoke. It doesn't leak oil. No leaks, no smokes. Runs really well. I'll go ahead and close it up. Here's how it works. So we're gonna lower, lower the gate. You just press this button. Now, <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have brought it all the way down. All right, okay, we're gonna raise the gate. Don't ever forget to flip this or it won't raise up. So you flip that and away we go. Voila, put your pins in. Hook your chain up. Other side. Hook your chain. And then I like to put it down on the chain. So I'm just gonna lower it. Oh, so I just lowered it onto the pins. That's it. There's the Oregon SP plate. We'll put this back in. You see here? It's nothing but a four prong trailer plug. There it is. All right, let's go to the racetrack. There you go, in a 1973 Lodestar 1700 International Harvester. Monty Shelton's old blue truck. Now it can be yours. <laughs>